Oh my gosh. I know. So what? what's up with you and Jake? Oh, well. Yeah, what's up with us? Hey, Jakey. Hey, Susie. Yeah, and that's my cue to leave. Um, I'll see you in class, Susan. Okay, see ya. So, what's up? Listen, I was wondering. I got some tickets to the Salt Girls concert. Salt Girl? Oh, my God, that's amazing. So, you heard of her? Never heard of her. She's this really awesome singer. You would love her. All the cool, all the cool kids are fans of us. So, are you saying that you want me to be cool? You're already cool, but you'll be even cooler if you go to the concert with me. I'd love to. Great. I'll text you the details. Oh my god, I gotta get to class. Bye. Uh, he's so cute. Oh, snap! Susan Copeland. Uh, yeah? Have a seat, young lady. Um, okay. Did I do something wrong? Well, that depends. Depends on what? I just got a call from your English teacher. Oh, really? Don't act so surprised. Your English teacher told me that you've been totally distracted lately. What did you say? <sighs> Susan, you got to get your priorities straight. Okay, Mom, whatever. I got to go pick out an outfit to wear to the concert. You're not going to that concert. Who are you supposed to go with? Jake, who else? I better, um, well, I better pick my outfit out. You are not going to that concert with Jake. Why? I already told you. Your grades are slipping. You're not applying yourself the way you should. I'm sorry, Mom. And... The, and the teacher also told me that you have an assignment to write a short story. Yeah, when's it due? In a week. Well, then you better get started. Mom, I'll do it tomorrow. No, you'll do it tonight. But Mom, get to it, Susan. You got to get your priorities straight. Okay, fine. I'll go call Jake. Excuse me? To tell him I got to get my priorities straight. I won't be long. Oh, that go. Mm -hmm. Hey. Hey, how was rehearsal? It was great, but that's the least of my woes. What do you mean? My English teacher called mom and said that I was on the verge of failing English. Oh, does mom know? Of course mom knows. I just told you, my English teacher called mom. How? Who else would know unless the teacher called them? You don't have to be a smart aleck. I'm sorry. It's just that I'm really nervous about this assignment. It's worth like a quarter of my grade. I'm sure you'll get it. I'm sure you'll do well with the story. You're right, I will. That's a spirit? Yeah, I was gonna ask you something. What? Do you think you could help me? Yeah, I'll help you. I can help you figure out an idea. No, I mean, maybe write the story? Oh no. Susan, are you saying that you want me to write the story for you? Yeah, please. Jake just invited me to this Hulk World concert and I really want to go. But Susan, please Sage, you gotta do this for me. I don't got to do anything. Come on Sage, I'll do whatever you want. I'll do anything. Just please do this for me, please. I honestly don't know, Susan. Please don't make me beg. You're already begging. Please. I'm serious. Please. Okay, fine. But you are going to pay me back big time. I'll do whatever you want. Okay. You can clean up my side of the room for a month. Done. And clean the bathroom. I want you to clean the toilet. Our toilet or the cat litter box. Do you want me help or not? Okay, I'm sorry. But you kind of walked right into that. Susan, okay. Well, anyway, could you write my story for me? I said I would, didn't I? But you are going to pay me back big time. Anything will be worth it. I mean, I really want to go to that concert with Jake. When's the story due? The end of the week. So you better get started. Yeah, that's the first of my worries.
Thanks, Sage. You're the best. Yeah, I know I am. <laughs> now, I better stay in here so that Mom will think I'm writing the story. Yeah. Thanks so much, Sage. Yeah, whatever. Hey, Mom. Hi, sweetie. What are you doing out of your room? You're supposed to walk in your store. I'm all done. You're done with your story? It's only, you only started walking on it an hour ago. Yeah, well, the ideas just kept flowing out of me. I knew you would do well if you applied yourself. Yeah, you're right. You are absolutely right. So what is your story about? Um, it, it's a surprise. Oh, well, that's nice. Where's your sister? She's doing homework. Hmm, seems like your sister has more homework than you do. Funny you should put it that way. What? Nothing. I'm going to go in my room and uh, lay down. I just wanted to let you know that my story's finished. Okay. I'm really proud of you, Susan, for doing this on your own. Yeah, I'll be in my room. Okay, something's up with her. What was that? <sighs> Sage? Sage? Mm, I'm trying to sleep. Susan. Who's, who said that? Susan. Okay, if I was doing this, stop playing around, you're freaking me out. Susan? Jake? Yeah, it's me. Jake, what are you doing here in the middle of the night? I just came to tell you something. You want to tell me something at like 3 in the morning? Can't we talk tomorrow? I'm sorry, I'm afraid to peer. Well, then what's going on? I can't see you anymore. Why? Did you take Kit back? Is Kit your girlfriend again? This has nothing to do with Kit. Well, then why are you breaking up with me? Because you're stupid. Excuse me? You can't even write a good story. Sage shouldn't have to do your homework. Jake, look, it's just this one time. I really wanted to go to the concert with you. Well, Sage has her own schoolwork to focus on. She doesn't have to focus on yours. Look, Jake, what are you trying to say? I can't, I can't date a cheater. But I'm not a cheater. I'm just... Goodbye, Susan. But Jake, Jake, <sighs> oh, it was just a bad dream. Sage, <sighs> Sage, Sage, Sage. Oh, why? What is it? Sage, I got to talk to you. Can't wait till the morning. No, I got to talk to you now. Well, what's wrong? I shouldn't have... I shouldn't have made you write my English story for me. Okay. Come on, Sage, don't torture me. How am I torturing you? If anything, you're torturing me. And if you're trying to guilt me into writing your story for you, you could save your breath because I already... No, Sage, I'm serious. I have to do it myself. And if I pass, that's great. But if I fail, at least I would have earned it. Uh, okay. Are you, is this a joke? No, it's not a joke. I mean, I shouldn't have tried to make you write my story. I'm sorry. I really am. I gotta do it myself. Well, I'm glad you realized you were wrong, but what changed your mind? Let's just say the decision came to me in a dream. Well... I'm glad you're going to do the story yourself, but I think you should talk to mom about what's going on. You're right. I'll talk to her now. It's three in the morning. I don't care if it's midnight. I got to get this off my chest. Okay, fine, whatever. I'm going back to sleep. <sighs> mom? Susan, 
What's going on? What are you doing out of bed? I had to talk to you. Well, can it wait until the morning? No, no, it can't wait. Well, what's going on? I have a confession to make. What is it? I didn't write my story yet, but I thought you said you were finished. I I lied to you. I actually tried to bargain with Sage to have her write the story for me. You did what? I know. And I feel terrible. Well, if you feel if you feel terrible about it, why did you do that in the first place? Because I was desperate to to get a good grade so I can go to the concert with Jake. Do you really think that was a smart way to get what you wanted? No, I know it wasn't. But I'm going to write the story myself, Mom. I promise. Well, I'm glad you real I'm glad you realized you were wrong. But I'm also very disappointed that you even considered making your sister do your schoolwork for you. I know. I'm sorry, Mom. Well, I appreciate that. But the person you should really be apologizing to is Sage. I know. I already apologized to her. And I told her to get rid of the story she wrote for me. And I'm going to do it myself. Well, that's nice. But instead of going to your friend's house after school, for the rest of the week, I want you home working on that story. And if you get a good grade, you can go to the concert with Jake. But if you fail or get a bad grade, you can't go with Jake until you can get an A on your next paper. Okay. All right, now go back to sleep, honey. It's late. Good night. Good night.